Don't ever fucking play with me. Y'all niggas know, y'all bitches know I'm the fucking queen. You hoe bitches know, you dirty bum bitches know. So, <clears throat> it is like, wait, let me see what time it is. It's 12 15, right? And I'm ready to do a little video on my channel. I haven't done YouTube in way too so long, but today I'm gonna do it. I know my hair looks terrible, but don't matter. It's been like this for like three, four days. <laughs> it's been wrapped up in a scarf for like three, four days. Um, so I plan on re remodeling my channel. Like, I was gonna change the name of it, but I need to stop doing that so I can actually create a brand for myself. So I'm gonna just keep trying to Dior. But I'm gonna make a new intro, a new thumbnail, and I'm also gonna just be basically like making my channel like this safe space and da 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 da. And um, I'm gonna tell a lot of my stories because I've been through a lot the last past year and a half. And um, maybe girls can relate to the things I've been through. But that's not what this video is about today. I just wanted to keep you guys in the loop of what I'll be doing because I didn't just want to come back. Then y'all just like. What? Um, I appreciate everybody who's been keeping my channel active. I definitely see the subscribers growing. I see the comments, everybody interacting with each other, and I appreciate it because it definitely makes me want to come back. Um, so I usually I would say that my social media would be right here. I'm gonna have to redo that too because I no longer use Snapchat. Um, so it's gonna have to be one way: Instagram and Twitter and TikTok. That's all I use for social media apps as far as what I want y'all to know. Um, but today I'm just going to make a video of how I got fired at public, y'all. So, 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 stay tuned, ready to be rolling that reefer, smoking that reefer. And tell y'all this story, so give me a second. Let me, let me see y'all in a second now. Okay, y'all, so I'm going to first start off by saying don't work at Publix. If you want to get into, like, working at grocery, I highly suggest Publix don't be one of your options, like, I only did that because I had applied when I was like 14 because that's the age they started at. And I applied back then when they first opened four or five years ago. And um, they they keep your applications. So I guess some new management came. They just pulled my application and called me. And I ain't had no job at the time. So I was like, any job better than no job. Don't do it for us. Now we're the fast and the true. I'm like, okay, so <clears throat> um, this took place about two weeks ago, I suppose, almost at least. Two weeks ago and um they called me downstairs well i was on my way downstairs and the lady she like um can i have two minutes of your time one of the managers i'm like yeah you good you know what i'm saying like you know so we went downstairs it was this man sitting in his room this white man sitting in his room and i'm like my sense is already up because I'm just like, uh, some ready to happen, some ready to go wrong, some ready to be weird. So he started explaining to me how he, the person that on um, count how much the store loses a day or what well, loses, period, I guess, like money wise, like stuff that go to waste and stuff, you know. So, or the stuff that gets stolen, basically money costs or whatever from the store. So right in there, I should just already knew. I kind of already did, cause I'm like, there's no way this man. I'm thick, but cause it was like this little interview thing. Like he, the paper, bro. When I got in there, he he said who he was, which was the one that, that counting the money that's lost, and he had me this white paper to say he was permission to interview me. The paper said interview, Charlie. Set up the paper said interview. So I said, because it's say interview, like you interviewing me, basically, like if we start off asking me questions about, like, do I know about this and this and this, or do I know what this and this and this is, right? It was a setup, like, so that's why I signed the paper, because I'm like, well, maybe he just wants us to come and talk to everybody, like, that's why I started to think until he started talking about how employees could cost the store money. Then that's when I caught on to the fact that he was ready to ask me about what I've been doing. So basically, when you work at Publix, you don't get no discount for your food you don't get no employee meal like no you gotta pay for everything off the flats off the gates and at that Publix, nobody none of the employees pay for their food i'm gonna be honest we never like i'm gonna be honest none of us did i'm not gonna tell a lot like but it'll only be half in subs like half like a similar six feet subs like not a sub this size smaller no bush like smaller so um and the sub only like six dollars or some change. So when he called me and when he finally started asking me about like, do I know ways employees could cost the food? I mean, cost the store money. 
I'm like, by stealing and I guess by letting customers do this and this and this and this. Woo woo, feel me? He like, so I always give everybody a chance. He like, oh, I always give everybody a chance to, you know, start off with the truth and da 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 da. And I'm like, my face literally went. And I'm just listening as he continue. He like, do you want to tell me about the incident that took place da, 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 involving us? No, no, no. He started off with um, asking me, do I remember the first time I stole? That um, incident took place after he asked that. He asked me, do you remember the first time you stole here? And I'm just, I'm bamboozled because I'm like... I'm like, what? Like, he like, cause like, do you want to tell me about the incident that took place, da 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 da, on this day involving a sub? And I'm like, uh, I'm trying to be very hesitant to what I say because I know, but I'm like, I don't want to lose my job. But then I just started telling them because I'm like, bro, either way, they caught me. They asked about it, they caught me. A uh, hint to you, dudes. If a female asks you about something, they already know. It's no point in lying. It's like, no point in lying. And I would have lied to the death of me till they showed me some type of proof. But, bro, it's, it's public. Now. I, really, I was already trying to really leave that job anyway. So, I was kind of hesitant on saying stuff, but I was like, you know. I'm like, um, the first time I think maybe was like April. He was like, that match our records, that match our records. He was like, because we can heard about you. They heard about me. Like, what you mean by that? You been heard about me. Like, somebody must have been in that stitching because it's so easy to steal from public. They don't really check cameras. Like, I mean, they check cameras, but like, burst. Still, they're so easy that you don't even get caught by the cameras. So somebody gotta, you know, literally tell them you for you to, for them to be real specific on, like, you know what I'm saying? So, after all that, <coughs> he like, do you want to tell me why? Because usually the person never a bad person is always a reason. Da, 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 da. And I'm like, well, I take lifts here. And y'all don't give us no meal. Y'all don't, you feel me? I can't, y'all don't give me enough hours. I can't be eating and making lifts and duh. You know? He like, yeah, I thought something was wrong. Because nobody really just be like, oh, yes, I'm going to cost the public money. Da, 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 da. I'm just like... So then he stopped bringing up other stuff out of the store. He like, um, do you remember the incident where you had um potatoes, a juice, some um and some heavy whipping cream? And I'm like, no, I don't remember that. All the time I remember that. I'm just not gonna admit to stealing nothing besides a sub. I'm not gonna lie, like, cause a sub, all right, but other stuff, I'm not admitting to that. So I'm like, no, nah, I don't remember that. He like, you sure? He was like, you know, you rung up the juice and you didn't ring up anything else. And I'm like, no, nah, I don't remember that. And so he like, okay, okay. And then he just like, get me the saddest paper that said I can't suit up. And da, 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 da. So basically they just really bum rush me. Like they really just really like, but it, it was a bum rush. <coughs> Because if it wasn't a bum rush, and if the way y'all pulled me in that office wasn't wrong, y'all would have never had me find and said, I can't sue y'all. Because what what could I sue y'all for if I'm stealing from you? So if there's something you're doing wrong, like, as publics that just... And the reason, I'm, I'm going to tell y'all, because I was going to make another video on why you shouldn't make your public, so I'm going to edit into this video since I'm seven minutes in and I need, like, ten minutes on this. And I got three extra minutes to spare. First of all, as a cashier, they will have you cleaning the whole store up and downstairs. They will have you cleaning every bathroom, every manager's office. They will have you taking out trash. Like, they will have you doing things as a cashier that you're not supposed to be doing. Like, as a bagger, yes, you're supposed to do stuff like that. But as a cashier, if you a plastic cashier, they're going to have you bagging as well. And you're going to be doing things that baggers do. Like, I plan to be a cashier. They have me being a cashier, a bagger. They had me being a janitor. Like, they had me doing stuff that I'm not even supposed to be doing. And then you'll be pushing carts. You'll be pushing, like, at least six, five, five, six carts, like. And you have to. But then they used to try to make me stand on scope for four to five hours, like. 
nugget. If y'all got all these employees in here, y'all can't switch SCO. Like, I can stand on SCO for like an hour or two, but you got me standing on SCO for four hours. If you don't know what SCO is, it's basically like self-checkout. And you have to watch people and stand there and, stand there and help them make sure they don't steal and stuff. Like, that shit get irritating because it's like... Like, for instance, I was standing on self-checkout and the man was like... The man had a water belly. He didn't know how to weigh the water belly on there, which I understood. So I went to it. He put the watermelon on the thing. <coughs> he put the watermelon on the thing. He like, <coughs> he looked at the screen confused because <coughs> after you put the object on the weighing thingy, bro, <coughs> you had to, <coughs> pick what container to come in. So like for, for grapes and stuff, a grape cherry bag. For cherries, cherry grape, the great cherry bag for like lemons or apples or something if it's in a plastic bag you push plastic bag you feel me it's a watermelon a whole ass watermelon it's not in the container this it say no container on the screen this man looking confused like this and i'm, I'm like sir it say no container he like mm -hmm. <laughs> sir so i press no container for him it better be little stuff like that but i don't know Scope is not for me. They was like, they, they make you do it. It's not like you can go to your managers and say you don't like this position or you don't like to do this when you schedule. They, I, I said that I did that and, and they basically told me that if I wanted, if I didn't want to do that, then my hours would be less. I'm a cashier. I thought I'd be cashier. So you telling me that if I don't want to be, a, if I don't want to do SCO as a, as a applied cashier, that my hours are going to be less. Mind you, Publix only give you like 15 to 10 hours to sometime it go to 20 back down to 10 it, so you mean to tell me if i'm already ready to get 10 hours you mean to tell me if i don't want to do school more get less so that's don't Publix is really a petty place they they just you can't wear a hoodie you can't if your pants got belt loops you are required to wear a belt it's just so much it's just but that's really just a little story of how I got fired and a little bit of sprinkle splash of why you should not work in Publix. I wouldn't recommend it. Everybody I know that worked there complained about it or they either already quit. People, My friends that worked there told me that they already placed, people quit and they already replacing them. It's just this is an ongoing cycle of people quitting and they been replaced. Like they got old people outside picking up carts and everything. So I don't feel me but to each his own you feel me like it's different departments in Publix. i wouldn't say just don't work in customer service like don't do cashier but that was the end of my little video i hope y'all missed me i hope y'all you know i'm gonna stay tuned i'm ready to start doing my hair videos because as y'all see i smoked this for this to still be in for four days oh yeah i did my big one show y'all how to get into that and not only use two products besides heat protected but to slip this and everything yeah i don't use two products and a blow dryer so i'm getting to that i be cooking a lot y'all making it to that i got stories and stuff that i really want to you know express to start my healing process so kind of want to get y'all enwrapped and twined in that so i'm gonna post this and then I'll probably record another video tonight. Probably post it tomorrow. I think I'm going to try to be consistent and post twice a week. Two to three times a week. But depending on how I'm feeling, I'm trying to really get my account back active and stuff. My page back active. My channel back active or whatever. Um, it won't be the same days. I'm not going to lie. I'm lazy. It won't be the same days. I'm not going to promise y'all consistent days. Like on some Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I'm not even going to do that. It just be two, three times a week. I know that much. <laughs> so, yeah. Make sure y'all subscribe and everything. Y'all can follow me at L-A-B-R-A-A-Z-Y on Instagram. And my TikTok will be in the description because I don't know that by heart. I know it's okay Asian, but I don't know how many IAs or how many Ys. I think it's two A's, two Ys. But y'all can check the description to be sure because, yeah. Um, Y'all can follow me on Twitter. That'll be down in the description too. I'll be on Twitter. I mean, I was on Twitter. I mean, I still am on Twitter. I'm just not as active as I was, but I'm ready to get back on Twitter. Um, Because y'all definitely can catch me on there. More than y'all can catch me on social media, for real. But, yeah, I hope y'all like this. And I'm trying to, you know, 
be bad and I'm ready to go on to college and everything. Well, I want to do it from home, so we go. We will see how that journey goes too. But I'll catch y'all in my next video. Bye. You hoe bitches know. You dirty bum bitches know. Rrr.